Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Yvonne Chapman about season two of Kung Fu on the CW. Thank you for doing this. Welcome to the show. Hello, thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited to chat with you. It's exciting. You know, season one was really successful. And then, you know, you get announced that you're going to have season two. So there's a lot of kind of excitement in the air. But what's the mindset when you're like officially going to shoot season two of the show? You know, I think because we've been um, in people's homes for a season and then it felt like coming back home as well yeah. for season two. So it felt a lot more settled. I think we kind of got in the groove of things. Luckily, like a lot of our crew came back. So it's like seeing family, honestly. So it was it was lovely. And when we got renewed for season two, I just remember all of us at a certain point like, okay, we're ready to get back to work. Like when is this going to start happening? Absolutely. So, yeah. I feel like it's just yeah. like a light, it's like a light switch that flicks on, right? Where it's like, okay, let's go. Right. Like you get in like totally. a mode almost. Right. <laughs> yeah, totally. Which is awesome. There's a lot to love about the show. I think there's a lot of components there. I think people enjoy a lot of the action kind of components of the show as well. But I think the family is always going to be kind of the main component of it. Do you agree with me with that? Oh, definitely. I mean, the Shen family is really a reflection of so, so many lived experiences, um, not just in the Asian American community, but really globally. There's a lot of things that people can take and look at that family and be like, yeah, that's my home too. Yeah, absolutely. Yvonne Chapman is a storyteller. That's what you do, basically. What excites you specifically these days about storytelling? Oh, man. You know, I think what really got me into storytelling was seeing certain people, uh, particularly close to me growing up, who maybe aren't necessarily the most vulnerable in their life. But for whatever reason, you bring them into a theater and they can laugh, they can cry, they can just get connected to a story that I've never seen them express their selves in a way and in a reaction to that so for me that's really the beauty about storytelling is that level of connection and reaching out and, ha and seeing something that maybe you don't get to see every single day um it's living in the fantasy but also in the reality of it to add to that a little bit there's also stories that weren't always told that are finally getting told i feel like that's like a huge thing right now about that which excites me specifically absolutely absolutely i mean that's it, the beauty about the media is that it allows you access to worlds that maybe you never could get access to, whether they be real or not. And in that line of what you're saying, stories that have never been told before, they exist in yeah. some form or other in reality. And so it just gives us a, another means of exposure that we might not have in our day-to-day -day lives. Absolutely. Getting back to Kung Fu, it's kind of announced that there's season two. You're basically seeing a lot of the current like the characters that we see in season one, we kind of see their storylines kind of grow and continue. Then there's some new characters that come in for season two. So there's kind of a little bit of like two things at play here, right? We want to know about the like characters that we're familiar with from season one. And we want to kind of know, okay, who maybe their new love interests and their new villains and everything. As sure. an actor, what's your mindset like? with that aspect of it with kind of the the old characters coming back and like the new characters like what do you think about all of that specifically with this show oh, as well it. yeah yeah i love it i mean i think when you see um the old characters coming back it just means that there's so much more room for growth yes because the story is always evolving and so do the characters along with it and in that evolution well it can't be in a silo so you're going to have new players come in that are going to inform and evoke that evolution of the character so it's a lot more fun to play with more people <laughs> oh 100 percent. it's really interesting to see the growth of a lot of you know the relationships and storylines there that kind of gets combined with a lot of the, the action scenes and there's like villains and everything when you sign on to a project, do you know, like, do you have an idea of, like, how packed a project like this is with a lot of, like, the kind of fast-paced, high-energy aspect of it, but a lot of kind of the heartfelt stuff as well? Like, do you, like, do you have an idea it's going to be a show like that, or do you just show up and you're like, wow, like, this is crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think 
for so many reasons, this show, and this is saying something has exceeded my expectations on all fronts. Yeah. Really. It's, like it's been, it's been really, um, I'm not, you know, trying to like fluff up or anything here, but it's been a dream to work on the fact that I get to have emotional scenes and funny scenes and fighting scenes. Like, I mean, I get to do it all. So I'm, how can I ask for more? The obvious, you, you know, talk to the writers or showrunners of the show. I mean, the obvious thing is, you know, developing the storylines from season one. But every time you make a season two, like a new season of a show, Yvonne, like the whole thing is to make it better than the first season. That's like the point. You know what I mean? Is there anything else any of the crew or like the writers or directors kind of told you early on about what they wanted to do with season two specifically, like a more direction that they want to go to? Like, What were those conversations like? Well, I think it was just like, like kind of what you said is elevating on something that we really hit on in season one. Like season one, there's so many good things about that. Like the Shen family included, evolving that storyline. Jalan took a whole different direction this season, which <laughs> I really love. So that was something else, like particularly for me, if I'm speaking selfishly here, like that was really lovely for me to be able to do is kind of take her in a different direction of what they wanted. Um, and also just like elevating everything else, like the fight scenes, the, the emotionality, like everything was um, up for discussion. But what I love about it is that, yeah, in TV world, because it's more of like a longer form project, you get to play with so many different kind of facets within the world, right? It's two seasons of you playing a character. Do you have a grasp of the, like, do you feel like you're, because I feel like you're probably learning, like everyone's learning about their characters as they go and everything. Do you feel like you have a grasp on your character and the complexity of your character and everything, like after two seasons of playing the character? I mean, there's definitely a baseline to Jalan that I feel like I have a really good grounding on. Um, but what is nice is that, no, she's always kind of changing, and especially in this season. Yeah. She's changed a lot. <laughs> like in the first two episodes, I mean, we see a completely different woman than we saw in season one. And that's been a lot of fun for me to play, you know? It's it's not something that's always been static or stagnant, I should say. It's always something that's a bit of a challenge, as it should be. Like, human beings evolve, characters are going to evolve. So. Oh, absolutely, 100%. I, I do also feel like season two of what is out now, because, you know, it's coming out week after week, right? But, like, right. it it's season two is, like, really... Like the family component, like there's a lot of there's a lot of different components in season two and season one, in my opinion. Like there's a lot of di like more characters came in and everything, and a lot of storylines took like interesting turns and everything. But the family component, like, is always there, and I feel like that is 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 huge in my opinion that they were able to do that. Like, isn't it crazy to like it's it's two different seasons, it's the same show, but like that theme of like family is just still like right there the whole time if you think it's about great it. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's great because i mean like hey your family is your rock or yeah. you hope that it is and family is like it's never simple family is complicated so that is something that you can always tap into without it ever getting boring you know absolutely what was because there's a lot of stunts on this show you've worked on things before kung fu as well um was this is this a project that you worked on that had like the most kind of stunts that you've ever worked on compared to other things? Or have you worked on things before this that had like stunt teams and everything? Oh, the only thing I worked on before Kung Fu that had stunts um, was definitely not at the level of Kung Fu. <laughs> I mean, the stunt category of what I worked on before, not to minimize it, it was a really fun shoot, but it just was not at the level of like actual fighting choreography yeah. that Kung Fu is. So this was really new to me, really new to me. It's crazy. Um, so fun though <laughs> oh it is crazy i have some friends that are like they they edit films and they edit tv shows and they say the cool. fight scenes are like the most fun things to edit oh they actually yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and like the, what our stunt team does that i don't think all stunt teams do but what i really appreciate is they actually do like a preview of the of the fight sequences themselves to show the cast and the creators and the director and it's like they, they just do such a beautiful job of it. Like their yeah. editors themselves and like, oh, it's just, they're really fun to watch. It's almost like little mini movies we get to see before we shoot. Can we go a little bit early where, like, was it, I, I guess it depends on the different projects, but did you, like, what was the knowledge of the role and the show? Like when you were like, when you auditioned, like, were you given a lot of information? Like, is it one of the, did you know what you were getting yourself into? Like, I always get curious about that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we have an idea, right? Yeah. So like, 
for for actors when you get when you get a role that comes with like a character breakdown and a synopsis of the show itself mm-hmm. and it'll give you like a like a paragraph usually in like your email for hey you have an audition for this so that's basically what what i saw and then from there you kind of just take your interpretation of it for your initial audition and then as you go further along in the process you get some time with the show creators and producers and stuff for your you know, second or third audition and at that point you get to ask a little bit more questions about what it is um, to get more of a feel for it they might send you like the full-on script so from there it's like okay you kind of get a sense but I mean you don't get the full world of it which is kind of fun <laughs> you know but you do have an idea of what you're getting to it's sure. interesting too because i've asked that similar question to other people on other like projects and they said the complete exact opposite of what you said they're like i didn't really? know anything i knew like the people that were like involved with it they told me a little yeah. bit of what the character was you go in and then it's like okay they don't even know sometimes they don't even tell you like what the project is what i heard you definitely have yeah. those like if it, if particularly if they're really um like I, there's projects too where you like sign a non-disclosure agreement and then yeah, they're like kind of like fake sides and stuff. It just it's totally or like uh, untitled, <laughs> untitled <yeah>. fight project. <laughs> Sometimes you can kind of figure it out. Like if you do enough digging, you're like, okay, I, I get that this is like Star Wars. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 100 percent. The obvious. I mean, I'm hoping you can give me a little bit more of this answer. Like obvious. There's the obvious ones: the family component, the heart component, the just entertainment escapism component. But when people watch kung fu in the cw yvonne what are you hoping they'll get out of it takeaway wise specifically well one a really good time yeah <laughs> you know you i think the for me entertainment particularly is kind of a form of escapism as well right so we definitely yep. have that element of it but also like you said the mainstay of the show is is the family yeah and i look at that family i look at the shens and i see my own family in it so what I really hope people see is themselves, no yeah. matter what background you are. You don't have to be American Chinese to relate to the Shen family or the characters in the show. So I hope that they're going to watch the show and be like, wow, like that really is a connection to me and what I see in my true life. And it's nice to have that represented on screen. hundred percent. That was so well said. No, really, really true there. I wanted to thank you so much for coming on Pop Turtle. It was great chatting with you. You too. Thank you. So, oh, this is so much fun. I'll have to do it again. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. So season two is on our is on the way. It's crazy because I remember I did a few other interviews with cast members when like like season like episode one was like premiering, and it's one of those things where like I love the whole like week to week is so crazy, but it's not all like that now, right? Some things are just dropping That's all great. at once. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it drops all at once. Yeah, with all, you know, the streaming way of viewing television now. So this is kind of fun. It keeps people a little bit. Weekly on the CW. And where can people follow you on social media to keep updated with everything? Instagram and Twitter is where I'm at. Uh, Instagram is YP Chapman. Twitter is Yvonne underscore underscore because the one underscore was taken, Chapman. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, this has been Pop Turnip, youtube.com slash Pop Turnip for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Yvonne Chapman from Kung Fu on the CW and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnip. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnip on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnip on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.